Welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on Blog TV and YouTube. I am your official Wrestle Gamer, Double B Billy Boudreau. How is everybody doing today? Today is October 7, 2010. Well, if you guys haven't you haven't seen the announcement that I posted up on YouTube last night in Blog TV. No, last night's show on the podcast, it was good. I'm not going to downplay anything. It was still an entertaining show. We had a lot of fun talking with Rocket. We also had Trucker Jones. We also had Cody Hawkins, Christian Blake, and Nick Bondage. Now, they're all local indie stars here in Louisiana. Now, unfortunately, we ran out of time before we had a chance to do in the week in review. So, tonight, two hours before TNA Impact, which is 6 p.m. Central Time. We are going to have a makeup show. We're going to have a, a makeup show in a week in review. And you know, that's basically what it is. You know, we're going to go straight forward, week in review, and I'm planning on it being only an hour long. Now, I have it scheduled for two hours. No, just in case, you know. Better to be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? Better to be safe than sorry. So I have a two-hour slot reserved, but I'm, I'm only hoping to take an hour. I'm only hoping to take an hour. Because normally on the, the podcast, it really only takes us one hour to do the week in review. But I, again, you know, just to be safe, you know, better safe than sorry in case it goes a little bit more over in an hour than expected, then we have the two hour slot reserved. So, again, so we, we got that coming up tonight. Now, tonight we're going to have TNA Impacts, and it's, you know, the whole before the glory special you know supposed to be live and be sure you're, you're on here right here on impact you know we're gonna we're gonna have our discussion during the live broadcast you know i know again like i said on a, a wgs tv a few days ago you know getting doing the play-by-play -play commentary ourselves is actually getting kind of bothersome kind of tiresome a little bit so we're going to go back to doing what I used to do here on Blog TV. Again, it's just, you know, insightful stuff, you know, making remarks, you know, talking about how they're actually doing on the show itself. You know, we'll still have, you guys will be able to hear the TV and hear us at the exact same time. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Now, as far as what we're going to do after Teenage Impact, you know, we had... Early, early, earlier here on the live stream here on blogtv.com by the way if you're watching this on YouTube again you know youtube.com slash wrestlegamer and blogtv.com slash people slash A-A-W double B the word double D-O-U-B-L-E B and uh, you know we're gonna have we're gonna have Dragon Age on, and of course well, earlier on the blog TV stream we had Jackson Pride here co-hosting and you know great talking to him he had a, a lot of good stuff to say and and hopefully we can you know get him in on the podcast tonight now now as far as tonight goes again straight up forward it's going to be the week in review we're going to talk TNA Impact from last week Friday the live Friday Night Smackdown especially to move to sci-fi now before last night's show had happened I had planned on maybe talking about uh, GCW's Lethal Lottery, but we ended up doing that almost the entire show, just yesterday. So we're pretty much it's already taken care of. Now Ashley and hopefully um, user well on Blog TV, his username is Goku Goku six four two five. But on you guys know him better. On YouTube as Gohan6425. Hopefully, I'm I'm saying that correctly on YouTube. And um, he, both of these guys will be on to do a Hell in the Cell review. So be sure you guys tune into that. At both Ashley and again on Blog TV. Again, he's Goku6425 on YouTube. He's Gohan6425. And he, the, 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 both these gentlemen will be on tonight to do their review of Hell in a Cell. 
And of course, we're going to talk about the debacle again, ladies and gentlemen, the debacle that was Monday Night Raw, and the, of course, the excessive use of 30-second matches that were used in that program, and the overuse of promos on that. Now, I know, again, like I've said before, I know you guys are going to say, well, why aren't you going to review about NXT? Why aren't you going to talk about NXT? Well, because flat out, ladies and gentlemen, one, NXT is not on TV anymore, and two, NXT flat out sucks. It flat out sucks, and and it does not deserve a review. It does not deserve a review, so you surely will not review it. Okay? Straight up, that's what we're going to do. Now, I want to put out a little update on there without saying what's going on with him. I just want to get it out there so that way you guys know, and so that way if you have questions about, you know, where this guy has been. Now, uh, unfortunately, I... My blogger, my wrestling blogger, wrestling headline news writer, Rick Starr, is going through some issues right now, some personal problems, and um, he's been he's been talking with me about it. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna air out his dirty laundry here on blog TV and YouTube, but you know he he is saying you know for the time being he he's probably, he's gonna be off from anywhere from two weeks to about two months. And he doesn't know, you know, exactly what the exact time frame, you know, how long he's gonna, it's gonna take him to get things back together. But you know, me for instance, and I know everybody else who will be watching this either here on Blog TV or on YouTube, we only will wish him the best, you know, and hope for the best, and hope that everything turns out for the best when it comes to him. So, Rick Star, if you're watching this, buddy. Hey, again, we're hoping for you and we're pulling for you and hope everything turns out okay for you. All right, buddy, we miss you, bud. Now, as far we have a new poll up here on blogtv.com slash people slash AWWB, and it pretty much goes like this, past or present for best wrestling entrance. And the people you have to choose from are Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sting from when he was in WCW. All right, make sure you understand that. WCW Sting. Whether it be 80 Sting or Crow Sting, either Sting will count. We also have Nature Boy Ric Flair and Goldberg. Those are the six people you get to choose from out of that poll. And basically the reason why we're doing this poll is... Nathan, y'all guys, you guys all know Nathan. Apparently, he's the big Rockets' biggest fan right now. Anyway, and you had he was I asked him to research because he was like researching top twenty-five uh, list, you know, of uh, best wrestling gimmicks, worst wrestling gimmicks, best matches, and and stuff like that. But the one thing he, from what I remember correctly, that he did not find. One thing he did not find. Yes, I know it's a character thing, Nathan. I'm just getting it out there and make your character more heelish on the podcast. Anyway, one thing he did not find was a a top 25 list of best wrestling entrances, best wrestler entrances ever. And I'm hoping by doing this poll, by starting up this poll, we can kind of rectify that problem. Now, we can't go as far as 25 but we got six good ones in my opinion six good ones and 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 hopefully we can get out a good poll and get a good poll going and get you guys out there to vote on it get get you guys to be sure you get in your votes now as far as tonight's uh, tonight goes on, on the podcast Ashley will read the final results of best SummerSlam match on the podcast tonight so be sure you tune into that but Again, if you're watching this here on Blog TV, just scroll down to the page. You can see the final results. But I will say one thing about the polls so far that we haven't had on the past two polls is every person on the poll has a vote. Every person on the poll has a vote. So I find that that's to be really awesome. You know, for once on one of the polls we're doing here on WGS TV, you know, every person will have a vote. Nobody in the poll will be left out with no votes. So. Anyway, again, now, to reiterate what we're going to be doing tonight, again, 
two hours before TNA Impact, we have the we're gonna have our makeup show that we can review. Again. We plan on only taking an hour, but I have a two-hour slot reserved just in case it goes over that limit. Again, like I said before, better safe than sorry. Now, it's to avoid what happened last night, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those of you who have listened already on Blog Talk Radio, from now on when... I have a chance to schedule interviews, whether it be a wrestler or somebody from the video game industry, or if I can fun get him, Mr. Jim Henderson from the New Orleans Saints Radio Network. We're going to do the interviews on a separate day, like a special day, and we're going to take that show and totally dedicate it to doing that interview and talking with this person. So that way we can keep Wednesdays on Wrestle Talk solely on doing wrestling news and headlines and reviews Saturdays will still be video game news and, and of course we got Sunday coming up Bound, uh, Bound for Glory and be sure you tune into that too ladies and gentlemen two hours before the break, the, the TNA Bound for Glory pay-per-view we're going to have the breakdown and prediction show of Bound for Glory so and again you can call in one 604 2496 or Skype or you can get in the chat room on, on the Breakdown and Predictions show and your counts and your thoughts and your picks, even in the chat room, will be counted like I did on the on the WW, uh, Hell in a Cell pay-per-view prediction show. I did count you guys in the chat room and I'll do it on the Bomb for Glory. Now, hopefully too, hopefully too, on right after the prediction show this Sunday, uh, you guys jet back here to blogtv.com slash people slash B for again audio c- commentary only we will not I can't we will not show the live stream even if my digital cable box was working I would not do it because it's it would not be right to rip off anybody like that and rip off their pay-per-view buys by streaming it on here so it'll be Audio commentary only from Ashley, Nathan. For right now, it'll just be Ashley and Nathan. Cause, and Andy, too. Andy, too, if he, he pops up. And, you know, because, you know, with Rick Starr's absence, with the personal issues he's going through right now, uh, I'm, I'm just told him, you know, again, take care of your personal issues. Do not worry about the show. Take care of your personal issues first. You know, personal issues come before doing my show. So... And can, of course, that applies to me too. If I got something going on or there's an emergency, hey, I'm not going to be on here. I'm going to be taking care of what I need to take care of. Okay. So that that's pretty much all I got to say for today. And now, again, oh, and before I go, you know, I want to give you guys the up to date stats. We did get over 21 live listeners on last night's Wrestle Talk, and that goes right up there with a really great show, especially you know with with our current stats and the and the way that we're known right now. That is a really great show. Cause if, we, if we had gotten over 10, I would have been satisfied, but we got over 20. And, and that means that you guys out there, whether you're watching it on blog TV or on YouTube, you guys are watching the video, you are coming to the shows, and you're checking us out. And I really appreciate that. So I, so I thank you guys for taking, taking your time out, for, not only to watch our videos here on WGS TV, but coming to our podcast and even again, if you, you don't even have to get involved in the discussion, you're just sitting back and you're listening and you're enjoying yourself and having a good time. And I really appreciate you. And again, th- thank you very much for taking the time out to listen to our podcast and watch us here on Blog TV and YouTube. So that's pretty much going to be it for today. Be sure you tune in tomorrow for another edition of WGS TV. And also tomorrow night we also have Friday Night Smackdown, and of course our weekly our weekly game show after Friday Night Smackdown, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Where you guys here on, on Blog TV can find out just who is smarter than a fifth grader. So until tomorrow, I'm Double B Billy Boudreaux. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you tonight for TNA Impact.